Okie dokie. So... Now that I've done some lunging, and we got them quieted down from the canter escapade. Some people just drove in for a lesson, so he's kind of like, oh my goodness. Something I wanted to catch on film because it's so interesting to me is his response to the bit. It probably, more than anything else, causes the most anxiety and the most distress of um, any single piece of his program. The standing flexions we've gotten pretty good. He still has quite a bit of stress movement in his mouth, um, but it's quieter and uh, everything has slowed down some. So, and something I want to say, and I'll probably say it quite a few times before I'm done saying it, is that people will say, well, why would he be this way? You know, he hasn't been abused or whatever word you want to use. The thing is, he can't tell us. And something that another horse would take as an everyday situation, horse or people, can be traumatic to another horse or person and cause lasting anxiety. So for me, the question isn't why or what, it's how can I help? So in you know, everywhere else, we've gotten him pretty quiet, but things with the bit are hard for him. Good. So I see his um, how he received his bit education as being pretty dysfunctional, um, bordering on pathologic. There. Good. Inflections from the side. A lot of movement in the mouth right here. A lot of tension. There we go. Still, there's a moment. Good. And what we're trying to do is just string together moments of quiet so that he realizes that he can um, experience the bit while being quiet. Um, some people may ask, why don't you just not utilize the bit? And what I would say to that is if a child is afraid of a spoon, well, then we'll just have them not use the spoon. They can just eat with their fingers. Um, in academic horsemanship, we know that the bit is um, a superior communication tool. Welcome. As long as it's used as a communication tool. Without education, without even with my example with a spoon. If a child doesn't know how to use a spoon, a spoon isn't a very good tool and they might as well just use their hands. So that's why I'm so um, insistent on bit education before we use the bit as a tool. Now, you can see that his emotions have come up quite a bit. And I am simply following him, feeling what he's doing. I'm not telling him to do anything. I'm not telling him what speed to go. I'm just keeping uh, some distance using the back of my right hand. And wherever he wants to go is fine. And um, I'm not asking him for the flexions or anything. I'm just seeing what do you need to say? 
and he has a lot to say. Most of it is very, very stressful. So there's not much need for me to get on a horse who has this level of stress with a bit. I could try a kind of a parallel education track of riding him with a cavison um, and then doing in-hand work with the bit, which I might try. I haven't gotten that far yet. Walk on, walk on. I'm interested to see. Um, yesterday was so, we worked for so long just trying to get some quiet on the other side. I didn't even work this side. So it'll be interesting to me to see what he offers on this side. Welcome. Because I look at it oftentimes as the people side and the non people side. People tend to do less on the non-people side. So sometimes that gives me a little window into what might be from a, a, an experience with a person and what might be um, just a, their natural, more natural state. We're still quite um, distressed on this side. Again, I'm just following him. Um, very neutral. Um, seeing if he will find some kind of lessening of anxiety. Um, the backing, I was told he reared with a previous rider to the point where the rider thought it best to uh, remove themselves from the horse. And the backing would be an indication that that, that uh, would be an option for him. So we either have very forward or going backwards. All of this attached emotionally to the bit. Good. Got a moment of quiet there, so I want to give him a chance to experience that. Hi. So there's a lot of work to do with him. Like I said, I might do a dual track of riding him in a cavison and doing in-hand bit work. Um, well, okay. Um, uh, the other thing, and this is a pretty extreme expression. Um, hey, 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 just wanted to get to where you could see when you go to take off the bridle, there we go, there's quite um, a significant expression there too, there we go, so um, yesterday for quite some time I worked on, let's, Take a little bit of the emotional charge out of this because it all becomes interconnected. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. You can't headbutt me. Sorry. No. 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 This is pretty deep seated stuff. Because this is not his personality. He's actually very quiet. And um, he doesn't. And when he's within his own self, his own parameters, he doesn't move as quickly. There you go. Well, yeah, we've got quite a bit of work to do. 
Yeah. But um, I really do like this guy a lot. Hi. Hi. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. I'm hoping we can make things a lot better for him in the future with some education and some support.